everybody, it's Susan. Okay, so this morning on my ride into work, the sky was just beautiful and there was a tiny little crescent moon. Of course, trying to get a picture of that is um, almost impossible, but what I did do is have a little picture of what it sort of looked like. Oh, you can see my reflection of the camera. So um, you can see how down below it was um, lighter and then as uh, the sky was starting to light, starting to light, you know, the dark was up above. So what I'm going to do today is just kind of play around with what I saw, even though it, um, won't be exactly like the picture. So here's my blank page. I have a little, um, yellow and orange. So I'm just going to do, just kind of get a little bit on this brush, just a little yellow and orange, because that's what I saw along the bottom of, um, of my sight line. So I'm just going to do a little yellow and orange here. And it's going to be more vibrant than it probably was in the picture. But this is what it continued to look like as the morning wore on. So I'm going to try to just layer around. There's all kinds of stuff on my brush. Um, sorry. And uh, hair. Hang on. Hair off. Okay. So layering a little orange and yellow. And this doesn't want to smear really well. Oh my. It's one of those days, I think, where the paint's chunking up. It's a little bit colder out. So I think what I'm going to do is I've showed you this spray flow. I'm going to put some spray flow on there. And what I'm going to do is is layer. So I'm going to show you the... I'm going to put... I'm going to try a couple different ways. Um, but this is the first way I'm trying is to put the lighter colors down first and just kind of leave the top because I mean, that's where the darker blue is going to go. I put the yellow along here, a little more yellow, get that color in. So just playing around with what might the light do um, as I layer the colors. And the other thing, um, since I'll be putting on blue, I want to um, be sure that I don't mix the colors, so I'm going to really make sure that this yellow and orange dries before I put the blues on. I think the next layer I'll do will be some kind of whites with orange underneath, and then let that dry, and then go ahead and put on the blues and the darker blue. Um, and then I'm going to see if I can get a little moon in there, and also the silhouettes of the trees. So this is going to be a real big layering project that I'll walk you through. All right, we'll see how it goes together. Okay, see you in a bit. Bye. 